This is to help you with powers of products and quotients. The first question that pops up for me is 3 to the negative 6 divided by 7 to the negative 3 raised to the fifth. So I have to use my shortcuts here to divide. However, these bases, never mind, these bases are not the same. We can't divide. So we're just raising power to a power. That's all we're doing here. So for an easier example, let me do a simple one just before we do this one. If you had something like x to the second raised to the third power, that's x to the second times x to the second times x to the second, which would be x times itself six times which would be x to the 6. So if you get confused on your rules, do a simple example to kind of refresh your memory. Write it out. You don't want to write out something that with huge exponents. And that'll help you come back to, oh, OK, I can do this. When I'm raising a power to a power, the shortcut is just multiply the exponents. 2 times 3 is 6. So here, I've got 3 to the negative 6 is being raised to the fifth power. That's going to be 3 to the negative 30th power over 7 to the negative 3 raised to the fifth would be 7 to the negative 15. Now, I am I doubt that Khan is going to let me type this in with this these negative exponents. So 3 to the negative 30 is 1 over 3 to the 30th power. So I have 1 over 3 to the 30th divided by, now I'm going to come over here and do 7 to the negative 15. That's 1 over 7 to the 15th. So I'm dividing by 1 over 7 to the 15th. When I'm dividing fractions, I can multiply by the reciprocal, so the first term stays the same, but I'm going to change this over to multiplying by, flip this around, and multiply by the reciprocal 7 to the 15th over 1. So that would give me 7 to the 15th over 3 to the 30th. And I'm wondering if I can just type it in like that. Oh, okay, it's multiple choice. So that is the answer choice that pops up. Um, so the shortcut is, if you've got a negative exponent in the numerator, it's dropping down into the denominator. If it's in the denominator, it comes up into the numerator. And this is the reason, remember it's easy to remember a shortcut for me anyway, if I know the reason. This is the reason, and it helps maybe to write a couple of these out before you just start using that shortcut. Because then you might just forget it the next time you do it. Okay, let me see what is next. Okay, I've got a to the negative 7 times b to the negative 2 raised to the negative 9. So I'm going to raise the power to a power by multiplying those exponents. So that's going to be a to the positive 63 times b to the positive 18. Just multiplying negative 2 and negative 9 negative 7 and negative 9, and that's it. There's nothing else that you can do there. Okay, now I have 2 to the negative 7 times 5 to the 5th, kind of the same thing, squared. So I'm just multiplying this by itself. That would be 2 to the negative 14 times 5 to the 10th. Now, I don't think we can type it in like this. I think we need to bring this 2 to the negative 14th and write it without a negative exponent. So that would be 5 to the 10th over 2 to the 14th. And it's, oh, it's multiple choice. And actually, this, this was the choice right here. So I keep thinking I'm typing these in. OK, now I have 3 to the 6 over y to the negative 5 raised to the second power. I would do 6 times 2 for 12, 3 to the 12th. Negative 5 times 2 would be y to the 10th, and that is one of the choices. Oh, wait, I messed up. Oh, I put 3 to the, okay. Not this one. Uh, 3, y, 3 to the 12th. 
oh, I messed up. That's y to the negative 10. Oops. Okay, and then, like I was saying before, that negative 10 just comes up top. So it'd be 3 to the 12th, y to the 10th. Okay.